I'd like you to take those, wait, take those letters, and when you touch a letter and you pull it up, you can spell something. Let's start by spelling our name. I, I spell know. your name. Find your letters and spell your name. What's the R? Not R. Oh, I got you. Okay, R-E-E-N-H. Ah, where's R? What's happening? There you go. Ah! There you go. So strange. Moving the letters around a little bit if you need to make them further apart. A little bit high. Or close together. Erase your name. Take your dustpan and erase your name. Okay, boys and girls, now we're going to turn the wheel until we see some shapes. Oh, I see some numbers. Let's see what's next. Let's go find some shapes. Haven't found the shapes yet. I see some shapes. Can you find the shapes that look like mine? Yeah. All right. Can you find the shape with the moon and the star? Can you find the shapes? Oh, there you go. Okay, stop. Great. Boys and girls, please put a moon in the middle of your paper. Put a moon in the middle, right in the middle. A moon. Can you put a moon right in the middle? One finger at a time. I got one. A moon in the middle, and then we don't need that star because that wasn't the directions. There you go. Boys and girls, Angelica, Denise, and Brian, tomorrow in math, we're going to be learning about these words before, between, and after. We're going to start by putting some shapes before the moon. Before the moon. I'm going to draw a moon right here. Hi, here's a moon. And when we put something before the moon, it's not on the moon. It's not after the moon. It's before the moon. And Helica, what shape should we put before the moon? The happy face. Put the happy face before the moon. Before usually means right next to it, right before it. You have this Brian, can you put it right next to your moon, right before it? There you go. Okay. It's kind of like you're reading. You start here, you go before, in the middle, and now we're going to put something after the moon. You see that word after? We're going to put something.